time now, 4.30 p.m., and welcome to this evening's news. I'm Charlotte May. And I'm Timothy Go. Top of the news today, there are two kinds of people in the world. Team iOS and Team Android. Which one are you? Which one are you? I would like to say both, Tim, but I must say my heart belongs to iOS. And I will safely say that I've tried both, so I would say that I've had a fair experience. I, disclaimer, I've been using the Android since I moved from <laughs> the Blackberry. Okay. The and Blackberry. that was how many years ago? Probably over a decade ago now. No, 10. So yes, it'll be about a decade ago when I moved full-time from the Blackberry to a Galaxy okay. Note, which runs on an Android. I do had, I flirted with the iPhone, mm -hmm. and I still flirt with the iPhone once in a while. Mm -hmm. And I agree, there are some things that the iPhone can do better okay, than yes. any Android phones. Okay. Like what? Creative things. Editing? Editing, videos, some pictures are better with the iPhone. Okay. But productivity-wise, I stick with the Android. Okay, that's very interesting that you say productivity. But before we go there, I think... so. Apple is pretty standard, but I think with Android there are different types, right? I'm holding to the I'm holding on to the Google Pixel mm -hmm. and you are having the, the Galaxy S10. Okay. I've only tried uh, for Android the Huawei mm -hmm. and the, the the Google Pixel. And I must say I prefer the Google Pixel because it is the most similar to Apple. The interface. Okay. The Huawei, the camera is good, but I can't stand the keyboard. Okay, I can agree with you. The keyboard is all over the place and I'm not used to it. It's not as standard as it should be. And okay. I know I can download, but I haven't done that, so I'm too lazy. Right. But on the Galaxy Note, which I've been using for almost a decade, or more than a decade now, I can do everything. I can write scripts, reply to email, edit pictures and videos, and really do things on the go without the need for my laptop. But you can do that on the Apple as well. I can't stand the keyboard on the Apple as well because of the auto is predict. It? No, you don't it have comes to turn out on. With different things that I'm not no, no, meant to say. You can turn that off. Yeah, but on the Android, it or at least on the Galaxy, it learns what you want to say. So if okay. I have constant typos, which you've probably seen a lot, the typos are always the same. It's consistent typos. <laughs> what? This is in Tim's role. He rather has uh, he rather have consistent typos. Okay. But at least you know what I'm talking about because my Y O U will be Y P U all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so mm, okay. it's constant because it learns what you type, and it's been like this for about five or six years now. So the phone you can, you can erase it and do mm -hmm, it again, mm -hmm. but it learns what you type. So the auto predict is better because it knows what you are saying. So okay. with people like us who speak very like different languages, yep. just because we want to, um, you don't have to change the language. Like you can type in English and French, but if you type that word okay. often enough, it will learn it and not auto correct it. True. Um, I actually, I must say, now that you're talking about languages, I love the Google Pixel because it translates really, really well as you type. Um, you, sorry, let me be clear. It can translate as you type. So I can um, put it to, let's say, a French uh, dictionary, but I'm typing the English word. Oh, that's so if I word. yeah, so if I want to say um, where can we meet in English, I type it out in English and it will translate it to French on the go while you're at the where, while you're typing out the message. Okay. Um, Can the Apple do translation? I haven't tried, to be honest. No, no, not not that I know of. So um, you still have to copy and paste it to a different trans yes, translation yes. Uh, app to do that. Um, yeah. On the Galaxy, recently, you can copy a text of a different language, and the Google Translate icon will just okay. pop up and let you translate on yeah. the spot. So you can just do it that way. Okay. Saving you one extra step. So with people who travel a lot it's very useful because that's how I make connections with people who don't mm -hmm. speak the same language and I can feel more at home because yeah. there are so many languages that are easy to translate these days. I don't know why they never thought about that before. So you're saying that you can read the news and translate as you go along? You, you can't translate in real time, but if I copy a text in different language, yeah. the Google Translate 
pop up will just come out. Oh, as that's an so smart. For them to okay. Now I was so prepared to switch to Android because they have friendlier prices, um, but one thing stopped me. Guess what that is? It's part of my life. A huge part of my life. Mm, cooking. I can't cook on the phone <laughs> yet. Um, Instagram. I have oh. a huge problem with Android on Instagram, and I thought I was the only one. Um, I thought you were the only one. I can't tell the difference. Maybe it's a generational thing. So let me get to that. But um, so I put a poll out. I, I, I asked my viewers a question, and I asked them if you view uh, stories on an Android phone and an Apple phone, do you see a difference and what that difference I don't. is? So. You don't, but then again, that's because you prefer uh, videos on an Android, which is, I mean, the videos on an Android are more, how should I say, fast-paced, and I find it a little dizzying, um, and you find the Apple too smooth, mm -hmm. whatever that means. I think we all want smooth photos. Uh, Although smooth the videos. new Galaxy will have a steady cam function, which will result in the same sort of smoothness to the iPhone. But should that not be the default? No, because it feels fake. Does it feels it? overproduced. Okay. It feels like you're using a tripod or a gimbal when you're using your hand. Okay, I can understand why you feel that because you've been using an Android mm -hmm. um, since day one. But looking at the responses on my phone, a lot of them she say... She asks questions openly. Uh, camera qualities, pixelated videos sometimes lag, fonts, not my words, okay? Fonts and emojis are not great on an, on, on an Android. Font, that's what most people are talking about, the quality See, of the video. See, I can't tell the font. Charlotte showed me the fonts yesterday and I can't tell the difference. There's a very slight difference. I honestly can't, I don't know how to describe it, but there's a slight difference. And on an Android, I, I feel as well, um, you can't, on it, I'm talking about Instagram stories, you can't clip the, the word, you can't align it to a certain, um, you know, on, on an Apple, you can kind of make your sentence straight and it kind of has these dotted lines that help you snap it into place. And you with can, an Android, you, you don't can, have that. You can, you can do that thing where it's on, all on the left or all on the right or in the middle. Sure, that, that's aligning, that right? Aligning. Align, yeah. But I'm <laughs> talking about snapping it um, into position. Yeah, see, our cameraman is nodding. He knows but what I'm talking on the Android, about. <laughs> you can use your finger to just align it. So another thing um, <laughs> I have with uh, Instagram Stories on an Android, when you want to make the font smaller on an Apple, you can just squeeze it in one squeeze. Ah, okay, yeah. This one you need you two to, fingers. Yeah, you need to keep adjusting it. Okay. So, in fact, I, I mean, I have no issues with Android. In fact, I have an issue with you, Instagram. This is a call out to you to please make Android users join in the fun that Instagram stories have to offer. Which brings me to my next point. I wonder why these app developers on the different platforms can't just do the same thing because it's not just Instagram. There are differences on Facebook as well, whether okay. you're using Apple or, or an Android. There are certain things you can do on one, one phone mm -hmm. and certain things you can't do on the other, which drives me crazy. But sometimes even on the same platform, there are certain things I can do with one post that I cannot do with another post on the same app. Like what? Like on Facebook when I share, there are times when I'm sharing something that can only be shared in my personal oh. account that I could not share in my... Tech 360's account. Do you think example. that's an Apple Android thing? No, it's a Facebook thing, or it, I don't know. I okay. really don't. And, and on the iPhone, when you're posting a picture from your gallery to Instagram, you can't do any editing. Yeah. You yeah. can't adjust the size, you can change the color, you can change the filter. So I just learned this from Tim, and I think it's fantastic. On an Android, you can post um, a photo from your gallery directly to Instagram uh, as a post as a direct message and as an Instagram store. And I think that function is really and, smart because it saves you time. And you can also take a picture and go directly to Instagram. Oops. Oh. Yeah, hang on. Okay. Oops. By yeah. the way, there. See, it's 5.11 and the clock on Tim's phone is 11.11. If you ever wonder why he's late to, to meetings. Sorry, uh, see, yeah, I can post directly on Instagram. There's, oh. I can take a picture and post directly on Instagram. Okay, and like can that. you edit it? Uh, I believe so. <laughs> I've never tried. 
Yeah, it goes directly oh, to wow. Instagram stories. Yeah, stories. Okay. Yeah, so that's really cool. It's a one-stop thing that is very intuitive because most of us really take pictures only for Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that sort of works on the newer Galaxy Fold. I must say that I really like the Android, uh, at least the Google Pixel, um, for its camera. The camera is exquisite. This is, like, I use this as a camera, uh, and I take both phones out. I, I use this mainly for my messaging, mm -hmm. for social media, but this, the night mode is incredible. She's becoming like me, carrying several phones for different I know. lighting I know. Uh, conditions, because I do the same when I'm traveling. Okay. So I use the Huawei um, because the night mode is very good on the Huawei, yeah. even in daylight. I use the iPhone to take backlit daylight pictures because it produces mm -hmm. the best backlit pictures. Yep. And uh, by default, I use my Galaxy. Yeah, totally. So but I must say... I, I, can I borrow the Pixel when you're done? I will never be done, Tim. What are you talking about? Um, thank you, Tech360, by the way, and Google. But I must say the video quality is not as good as the camera quality, as the photo quality. The video on the iPhone is better, yeah. I think. And the editing on the iPhone is a lot more sophisticated. The auto editing function in the mm -hmm. memories, if you use it, you can use better music selection, better um, font selections, yeah. but you can't rearrange your pictures. Okay, you're talking about the memories uh, that you post Which from the gallery. Which produce very great, like, yes. very good videos. I know, on my dad's the, Me too. On the uh, uh, Galaxy, you can do the same thing, but the music selection is limited, uh, but you can rearrange your pictures, okay. and you can adjust your video to shorter clips. Uh, Okay. and put them together. Can you choose the clips that you want to use? You can choose exactly which okay. part you want to use because cool. it gives you, but it only gives you three seconds max. So um, I must say, because um, I wanted a fair comparison, I switched completely to Android for a week. It was The process was super easy, especially if you use uh, Gmail, Google Cal, and things like that. Uh, but WhatsApp is the only thing that you can't, um, you have to start anew, basically. So I lost all my WhatsApp messages. What? Um, you don't? Save it up in the cloud every night? She does it. No, who, who does that? But also, really? I back up at 2 a.m. every night. Oh, wow. No, maybe it's an automatic thing. I think I have it automatically backed up. But you can't transfer it to, to an Android. And you that's can. the thing. No, you can. It, because it backs, out to Google, backs up to Google Cloud and you can download it once no. you reinstall. See, Kai Hong at the back is saying no. No, you can. I've done that before. I went on several forums and there is a way, but it's incredibly complicated. No, you just have to uninstall your WhatsApp, reinstall it as a new app. From Apple to Android. Yes, because you're, you're backing up to Google. Google doesn't know, really, where you We'll get back to you on that. You can find out down below. We will <laughs> share with you how you can do that, according but, to Tim. Uh, the thing is, it's tricky because you, can't, you have to uninstall whatever WhatsApp is okay. on your phone reinstalled as a new one and then it will give you the option to to download what you back up but i started this phone completely new but did you uninstall the whatsapp that was already there there was no whatsapp oh, to begin okay. with yeah so i had to start a new and i lost everything um so it was because of whatsapp and instagram that i kind of went back to the apple um but again fantastic camera but i really. give i'll give you a tip when i switch from one phone to the next i carry my old phone for another four weeks Okay, why is that? Just in case uh, <laughs> there are some things left behind that didn't transfer okay. completely. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a little bit kiasu that way, and kiasu in Singaporean language and English is... Scared to lose. Yeah. Um, before before uh, we end this, talking about kiasu, oh my goodness. One thing that Apple has that Android doesn't have, but correct me if I'm wrong, Apple Care. So... Ah. Two weeks ago, I dropped my phone and the screen cracked and I brought it to Apple and, um, and I said, well, I asked how much is it to repair my screen? They told me the price and they asked, well, do you still have Apple Care? And I said, well, I remember buying it, but I'm pretty sure that it has expired. They checked my account. It was going to expire the next day. 
if I had dropped my phone a day later, I or would have not... gone to the store a day later. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have been able to get a wonderful new phone um, for very little money. So thank you so much, Apple, for doing that. And I know that uh, someone really went out of his way to help me. So shout out to you. Um, um, yeah, and that's something that an Android won't have. I don't know about all the Android phones. I know Samsung has a service as well where you pay some sort of a fee and you can change your, well, they will replace your phone mm -hmm. if something happens within a certain okay. time period. That's like a warranty that you pay extra for. Yep. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a Samsung thing or if it's a telco thing. Um, ah, that's a good point. Could be a, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I know there are plans like okay. that because it's normal for us to, whoops, drop our phones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. And Tim has no case. This is so scary. So I must say, um, having lived on an Android full time for a week was really, I don't know, was really refreshing because I saw a lot of things that a phone could do for you, um, which you don't experience in an Apple. And I guess I've been on an Apple since, since I left my Nokia. I don't know, you know, <laughs> when that was. The what? The Nokia. <laughs> and you laugh if about you... my Blackberry. I'm not laughing about nobody's Blackberry. And one last thing about the Android that I like. The plug and play function. I can just plug in a USB C plug in on my TV or laptop and it connects. You can do that? Yes. Oh, wow. Even on my TV. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I plug it in, plug it on my TV. I can watch something if I really want to, mm. uh, which you can't do on the iPhone. Yep. And we can't do that. I believe your iPhone needs an, a Mac to back up pictures in your computer. You know what you can do on the cloud Well, without okay. connecting, yeah. All right. There you go. But yes, the plug and play is really important for me and the SD card, which is fast disappearing as well. Yeah, see, I can't understand this concept of SD cards in a phone. It's, it's, taking, it's, your, it's taking your storage with you and moving it to another phone without that is helpful. With bypassing the cloud. Does, does the Google have it? I, see, I don't even know. No, no I don't Google think it doesn't. Does. Yeah, Google it doesn't. goes directly yeah. to... Google Photos, which is unlimited storage, yes. but it still takes time, it depending does. on how good your uh, connection is. And if you're on a plane and there's no Wi-Fi, sometimes you, can, you don't get access to the pictures you want to see that you haven't looked at before yeah. you boarded a flight. True, true. Which I've done before. I saved my documents in the cloud, and I needed to fill up papers on the mm -hmm, plane, mm -hmm. and I don't have that. Because they can't load, yeah. yeah. Um, but I would say as well, interface-wise, if you want to switch from an Apple to an Android, honestly, Google Google's the one to go for it because it's so, so similar, even the font. Um, one thing I couldn't get used to on the Huawei is having to customize everything. I think some people found that really uh, exciting, but I just wanted to Ooh. have my phone as it is. And I, and, I, and I like that clean look, which I get on the Google Pixel. I customize mine, but in a messy way. Fair enough. In a Tim fashion. Like, I know where everything is. But, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I mean, yeah, like it, it has to make sense to you, right? Someone may not understand it the way you do. Um, but can you move icons around on the iPhone? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, right? you can. That's you can also shake. group them. Yeah, yeah. I like it when they shake because it looks, you know, they're shaking. Tim likes shaky things. No, no, like they, his videos. <laughs> they shake as if you're going to get rid of them. Yeah. Try, like see? It's yeah. like, oh my God, I'm going to be uninstalled. You're jiggling. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's my bottom line, is if you can afford it, and some Android phones out there are very, very cheap, you can get them for like less than 150 mm -hmm. really. Um, why not? You don't need the best one to get the best features, the basic features that you want. Yeah, have. yeah. And if you don't care about Instagram, you can just go with an Android. Who doesn't care about Instagram? Yeah, I know who, I don't know. Even my mother and my father. Same, same. Are very active on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And that's Apple the news today. Who won? <laughs>